Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2019 in Budapest, Hungary, where I'm pleased to be joined in the studio by Carl Whitehill, who is the CEO of Advanced Communications. Carl, welcome to the studio. Thank you. My pleasure to be here. Now, Carl, perhaps you could, uh, as we could start off, to talk a little bit about Advanced Communications. What, you, what, what exactly are you uh, involved in? So Avanti is a British company, one of the two major British companies, and we primarily have our capacity over Africa. So the vast majority of our work that we do is trying to bring connectivity into areas that would never normally be able to access connectivity. And what are the main uh, current technological, regulatory and policy challenges uh, to achieving connectivity? And is cross-sectoral uh, collaboration the key in expanding uh, non-terrestrial connectivity? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I've spent the last 20 years in telecoms, most of it in mobile industry. I have a strong insight into the challenges there, the fixed part of it, and now satellites. So I feel as if I have a good understanding of, unless all three parts collaborate, you will never get to the unconnected. And so I think one of the challenges for me was that how can the satellite industry help other industries to actually reach that last mile. We always talk about underserved, we always talk about the last mile, and I think satellite plays a really important role in doing that. So how can uh, the satellite industry bring the benefits of uh, a digital transformation for all of them? So I think firstly, the great thing about the digital gap in my mind is that there's a huge development at pace around applications, even you know, in underserved areas. The real key drivers about access to food security, access to financial services, education, health. So all of the apps are coming, but of course, if you can't access the apps on a device, then you're never going to get true financial inclusion. So I think that's where we can play a strong role. We can see the development of the applications, and then we can provide that connectivity the terrestrial networks can't get to. What single innovation in technology, policy, or strategy do you think has got the most potential to drive digital transformation? For me, this is all about being able to execute on the ground. So it means that you really need the engagement and buy-in of local communities, local governments, national governments, who are actually going to say to you, love what you want to do, let's put a real effort behind it, and then I think you have a chance of delivering. Now, innovating together, connectivity that matters, is, is this, uh, this year's theme for Telecom World. And what does that mean to you? I was born and brought up in Scotland. Right? I had access to health, education, connectivity my whole life. And so the theme for me is all about it doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, you should have exactly the same access as everyone else in the world. So I think that's what the theme means to me. Right. And, and finally, what does it um, mean to, to be here for you? I mean, uh, you've, uh, uh, you've obviously spent uh, some time and money to get here. I just wanted to find out what's, what's the value of attending ITU Telecom World for you? Well, it's a first for me. So for me, the value is I had absolutely no idea about, first of all, the scale. Um, the real value for me is that we're already beginning to meet people in the ITU who actually do have a significant impact on countries. And I, I see real value in that. What the ITU need from me and my industry colleagues is the case studies and the energy to show, actually, this is what our industry can do. Let us arm you when you go talk to your governments and your countries to show them the benefit of what our industry can deliver. Wonderful. Well, thank you for sharing some of those benefits with us, and uh, we look forward to catching up with you again soon. Pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Kyle.